Today is Valentine's Day, so I have decided to book a night away for me and Josh tonight. It never goes well for us, this does it? <coughs> Both of us are just dozing, Josh is sick. So today is Valentine's Day, so sending lots of love to all of you. Now, as lots of you may know, Josh and I have been together for quite a while now. August, September this year will mark eight years together. And believe it or not, we have never actually done like anything together really. We certainly have never been away for a night. The only times we've ever spent a night away together are for like a particular reason, like we would be in Entebbe before a flight, but Adam would be there too. So it was never just me and Josh. And when I came in 2022, we did go away for one night as a family to Sippy Falls, but that was a five hour drive, a hike. We slept, just slept straight away, another seven hour hike the next day, and then a five hour drive back. So it was pretty intense. And then obviously for Christmas, we booked to go away as a family and we did, and we spent three nights together, but everyone was very, very sick. So it didn't quite go to plan. So I have decided to book a night away for me and Josh tonight. It's only somewhere quite close, somewhere I've always enjoyed going to called Nile River Camp. It's pretty budget, to be honest, it's not too expensive, nothing too fancy, but I really like it there. And they've got like, um, I think quite a new sort of cabin thing overlooking the river, and it was pretty reasonable. So I booked that a couple of weeks ago. Josh has absolutely no idea, and I'm really looking forward to surprising him because yeah, we've never done anything just us two like this, which is mad considering how long we've been together. Josh is actually not home yet because as you will have realized in some of our recent videos, our life is pretty busy. So yesterday, Josh was dropping Derek off at secondary school. He was taking the dogs to the vets in Kampala, and then he was dropping the Caesar dogs back off quite deep in the village and getting stuff organized for them. So he spent the night in the village last night and he'll be heading back home this morning. So yes, he's on his way. And so I'm looking forward to surprising him with the news when he arrives. I'm also not very good at keeping secrets. I think he may have a slight idea something's going on because I kept being like, can you come home? And he was coming up with these suggestions, things we should do today. And I was like, just come home. So I think he might know that something's up, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to spending an afternoon by the pool. Anyway, I'm going to try my best not to think about all the things that need to be done because it's really hard for me and Josh to take a day off. Even now, there's so many things like charity updates I want to do. I want to say thank you. This is the first time I have filmed since you guys donated to um, send the Cedar Kids back to school for term one. So thank you so much for those of you who have donated so far. We really, really appreciate it. And I hope by the time this video is up, I would have shared some updates with you all. But we have decided just to try and take this day for ourselves and not worry about everything we need to do. Although I really want to get a video up tonight and there's no power at home. So I am likely to do a little bit of work whilst we're there. Welcome. It's finally home. Hello. I've been very day. I'm literally falling asleep waiting for you. You bought a fan. I bought a fan. But listen. Mm. I've been waiting because I booked for us to go away today. Mm. Yeah. Just river camp, but for, for us to stay a night in a cabin. Okay. Okay, Thank that's you. all I get. Okay, that's okay, bye-bye, nice. I'll go with someone else. All right, let me get ready, quickly. Mm -hmm. And five minutes. Mm -hmm. He's making me carry the things. No, actually, look, I am carrying things too. He's carrying a miniature suitcase and one plastic bag. Um, but we are finally heading off. He took about 100 years to get ready. I'm starving. Me too. Um, and he took so long that it's gonna rain and we're getting trying to it's a very very bad road and we're going on boda so it's gonna be fun it's your fault <laughs> your fault what is your fault so we've arrived at our cottage we've just ordered some food because we're both absolutely starving i think this one's quite tired as well um and i thought we'd show you around our little yeah our little cottage Go on, give us a tour. Whoa. <laughs> Come on then. Gender. Our bed. Our nice slides. <laughs> Bedside tables. Mm. We went and got some snacks and some supplies. <coughs> Have the fridge. Yeah. Which we will put those things in. And the bathroom. 
toilet. Bog standard. You probably don't get that, do you, Josh? No. When I say bog standard, it probably means very little to you. A little wardrobe area. But then the view, where's the view? A little bit obstructed by trees. <laughs> but there is the River Nile. So Josh has got nachos and I got homemade bread with like, oh that's normally with hummus, that's guacamole, we haven't got hummus, that's sad, um, but I didn't realise the bread's actually got cheese on top, but that is my fault for not asking. Whoops. I know, this isn't, it never goes well for us, this does it? <coughs> Both of us are just dozing, Josh is sick. So we spend we spend money spending a day and a night away somewhere and we're just going to be sleeping the whole time again. It's also the problem because we don't sleep ever because we don't stop, so as soon as we stop, that's it. Every time I look at this one, he's looking more sick. It's going very well. Oh no, it's a spot. <laughs> <coughs> so I could literally sit and watch these monkeys all day. I just absolutely love them. Um, but I think me and Josh are a bit disappointed. I don't think they've like maintained this place since we used to come here like seven years ago, haven't they? Really, at all. And the pool's in a little bit of a state. Just a little bit run down, you know. I've forgotten the name of the different types of monkey, but this is a red-tailed something or other different type. And you don't see them quite as often and they're not as friendly as these other ones. Just spotted what looks like a miniature frog in the pool. Is it alive? Yes, it is. I don't know what I want to say. I have, um... It's just not quite going as I expected. I've just got my laptop out to try and get a video up. Sunset's nice. It's good. It's about it. Hmm? It's about it. <laughs> Also, because we arrived here so late, we had really quite a late lunch. I think we're both very full, aren't we? Mm. But guaranteed we'll get hungry once the kitchens are closed. Mm. Do you know that? Mm. <laughs> You 
So I desperately wanted to get a video up and I tried really hard and it was all ready and then the internet here is just not good enough and he said it was going to take like three hours to upload and usually when it says that long something always goes wrong along the way and it doesn't work so I have given up already on that and because this one not feeling too well we've just come back to the room early I think it's going to be an early night I might see <coughs> if the internet is good enough to watch something on the laptop but I highly doubt it so yeah I think we're just gonna try and get some sleep and hope that this one wakes up feeling better in the morning. We're just going to go for a shower and this made me jump. Hello. Josh to the rescue. Going to jump. <laughs> I told you, I told you push it down the side, yeah? So today it's obviously not going to plan, but I have to say the shower has just made it all worth it. Oh, that was the best shower I've had in such a long time. Like our house, we do have a proper shower and hot water, which we haven't always had, but the pressure is just not very good. And the pressure here, I think that's the best water pressure I've ever experienced in Uganda. And so yeah, I just really enjoyed that shower and may have used most of the hot water up. And the other good news is I think Netflix is actually going to work. So we're going to start watching the One Day series. Well, I say that, I think um, I'm going to be watching it. But <laughs> this one will be sleeping, but that's fine. They come, they wake us time and time over. They are to be happy in. Where can we live but days? That young one will live. Oh my god, I want it. <coughs> we take one. Oh, it's the cutest. Another one there. Up. There. You can do that. Yeah. I went to bed at like 8. Emmy was watching episodes of what? One day. Alone? Because I was not feeling fine. All on my own. And this morning it was raining. Mm, it's so cold. it's very cold. So it is not going as expected. Mm -hmm. When does it ever? I can't get it out. Why is it so hard to lock Cody? Checking out. Hey. <laughs> oh. I want to say to public. Okay, I want to say that it's almost midday, and so we've just ordered something to eat, so breakfast slash lunch, and there is no sunshine at all. It's quite chilly, hence the sweater. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm not sure swimming's going to be on the cards today either. So we may end up leaving early because, to be honest, what you guys have not seen is this whole time there's been phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. Life doesn't stop because we've decided to take a day off, and there's just been so much going on, so much to organise, problems occurring. So yeah, it's not been relaxing really, has it? No. You're shaking your head for no one can see No. Why don't you show yourself? <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we um, we might be heading to the village to deal with some cedar pups situations, but there's situations going on pretty much everywhere right now. Um, hmm. <laughs> Josh has got the same as yesterday, and I've got a vegan burger. They're right chips, actually. Hmm? They're not bad chips. <coughs> oh, Josh is still coughing. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, so we came back from where we were staying like quite a few hours ago now. We just ate and then we came back because 
I mean, we didn't even swim, we didn't do anything because we just have all these other things to sort. So we've been back, Josh has been trying to sort getting a rental car, but it's been really hard to get one because where we are going, the roads are so bad that most people don't want us to take their cars there. So it's taken a few hours, we finally have a car, and me and Josh are heading into the village, it's nine o'clock at night. I mean, it's ludicrous, but this is how life doesn't stop. Because, basically, what has happened is, we have all our cedar pups in the village, and one of them, the mum to the puppies, she's probably also like our toughest one. She's, you know, she's great a security dog. But somebody left the gate open and let her out of the compound. And so she, she, went, she went wandering. And like I said, she's quite tough. So she's all right with us, but if a stranger tries to grab her, problems. And some strangers did try to grab her and problems because two people got bitten. So there's that. And obviously we want to get her back in and call her back home because her puppies have been left home so me and josh are going now people have kept an eye on where she is so that we can get her because she'll come to us and that's fine um and get her back to be with her puppies again but yeah now we have issues because number one she's out so her puppies are not eaten and number two people trying to grab her has resorted in them being bitten and i'm sure you can only imagine what that means for us so always pretty stressful but anyway yeah off to the village honestly the roads how are the roads josh very bad so bad like so so bad that i was honest i feel like i'm going to be sick i was fearing for my life josh just drove so fast to make sure we didn't get stuck but the car was sliding it felt like it was going to tip it was horrible 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 and yeah you almost killed me me Believe it or not, this road is actually good compared to where we went earlier. Where we went earlier, it's really scary and really sliding. Yeah. Like really high drops. Anyway, we found Rosie. We're actually heading to the next biggest centre because she hasn't eaten today and we want to feed her. So we're going to see if we can buy her some food. Whoa! The camera cannot pick up the angles the car is going because we are like, oh my god. It keeps feeling like we're going to tip. is not doing it justice. Hey. Half one in the morning. Problems, problems, problems. But there's now. Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on and end this video because we never did, but basically that night you saw us go to the village, we did like an all-nighter, Josh and I did sleep the whole night, I don't know how we actually managed it, and then the whole day we were doing things as well, so we just did not stop. And even whilst we were there in the early hours of the morning, Josh ended up organising a load of youths to clean the training centre and he paid them to do that and then someone else helped and came and brought their truck and it was like a big, yeah, a big little initiative thing, it was really lovely. And actually, since then, I've left the village and Josh has been non-stop getting stuff done there. So yeah, it was straight back into things, let's put it that way. Anyway, not the Valentine's we'd hoped for. I've ended up being pretty ill the last couple of days as well because Josh obviously passed it on, but at least we tried. And yeah, maybe we'll have better luck next time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody and we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>